Thank you for tuning in with your boy Bobby Bruh TV on the Pavilion Podcast, the realest podcast in the world. And I just want to, uh, to tap in on this KD uh, trade situation. And I just want to say real quick, what the fuck is going on? Okay, I understand that he's he's going to be either with the Heat or the Suns. Okay, that's number one, number two seed on the East and the West. That's understandable. But now I'm hearing and seeing things about him possibly, the Warriors possibly trading to get him. Now, let me tell you where this shit gets a little twisted and fucked up at. Uh, Warriors, you have built a fan base of loyalty, humbleness. Uh, we know what's up. We know what kind of players y'all pick. We know why y'all don't pick certain players because of the uh, the humbleness, uh, the way that they carry themselves. That's understandable. You motherfuckers don't be asking us to carry ourselves in a certain way. And then you go back and get a motherfucker like KD and trade out your loyal players that you have on your team. Now, if you don't trade a motherfucker out, great, great. KD can come back. But if you trade Wiggins, Poole, God damn it, Kaminga, Moody, if you trade any of them motherfuckers that were a vow up, they were a value to the championship that you guys just grabbed, that you grabbed, bruh, the loyalty shit is out the window. The loyalty shit is out the window. And you won't be looked at the same. Tighten the fuck up. The Warriors do not need KD on their team, as proven. Do not give him the luxury of letting him come back to somewhere where people pulled him in and said, you are a brother. And his sensitive ass couldn't take the heat of brotherhood, real brotherhood, holding each other accountable. Send his fuck ass to the Toronto Raptors. Thank you for tapping in with your boy Bobby Brett TV on the Pavilion Podcast. The realest podcast in the world. And KD don't say shit back because you already know.